and welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are going to take a look at the Erin Condren Hardbound Life Planner, which amazingly enough, out of all of the Erin Condren reviews that I've done, I do not have a review on the Hardbound Life Planner. This is the 2019 calendar year. Then we're going to do a little comparison with her Coilbound Life Planner because this is a question that I've heard come up often and I've actually had a request to review this hardbound life planner numerous times. And then when I said on Instagram that I was going to review the hardbound life planner, I had a couple people ask me to please compare it to the simplified hardbound weekly planner because they were trying to decide between those two and they really wanted to see a comparison. So I am going to do that also. But first, we're going to go ahead and go through the Erin Condren comparison, and then we will throw in the simplified comparison. All right. I got this when it was on a 40% off sale recently, which was like an amazing price. I think it made it $18. And so I got it just to do a review on. I just wanted to leave this little band on to show you how it came, but that's how it comes. And... This year, for the 2019 year, they just have the cover in the Woven Wonder Colorful, and this is their design for 2019, the Woven Wonder, and then they have the Woven Wonder Black and White, and that's all they have for choices on this in 2019. The inside of the outside that's colorful is the colorful inside, and then the neutral inside is inside the black and white outside. Okay, I know I did not word that correctly but hopefully it made sense. So let's just jump into this. Number one, you can tell that there's a size difference here. The Erin Condren hardbound is eight by 10. So you can see the cover is exactly 10 and it is an eight by 10 book. This book is a seven by nine. So it's a little bit bigger. And if you, you know, line it up, you can see since the coil takes up quite a bit of room, actually, you know, it's only a teeny tiny bit wider, but it is taller. And then if you look at the width of them, you know, the thickness of the book, the hardbound is thinner. It is a thinner book right there. And then this is just, you know, it's a little bit bulked up. Now I do have one extra month that I coiled in. So this is a 12 month plus one extra month. So that makes it a 13 months. And then this is just 12 months, but that's just kind of to show you from the top what you're dealing with. Now, obviously, when you think about the differences between a hardbound and a coiled, a coiled book, you can turn all the way over and you have that flexibility. And a hardbound book, you obviously cannot do that. And the squares are bigger in this book since the pages are bigger. So let's jump in and take a look. Your cover is really beautiful and has gold foiling on it on the inside pages. I mean, on your kind of title page where you can put your name, nameplate page. Today, I can't think of the right words, you guys. Then we have really beautiful gold foiling quotes in here. You have everything inside you to be and do anything you want. It's just, I really think they've, they've made it beautiful with adding all the gold foiling. Then you have a layout of the entire year 2019, year at a glance, and plenty of space for lots of notes. Before we get any further, I wanted to mention the paper. The paper feels amazing, and I am going to show you a pen test. So I want to just jump in there because I know that's something people are interested in. But they do not list the paperweight of this hardbound on their website. They say something like it's luxurious thick paper, but they do not list the paperweight. And the paperweight on the Erin Condren Life Planner with the coil is 80 pounds. And I love this paper. I'm in love with this. It has a tiny bit of tooth to it. That just means a little bit of texture. It takes pen well. It's bright white. And I love it. But this is the way the two papers look together. Number one, right off, you can tell you have more room to write. And the paper does feel thick. It feels really nice, but it does not feel exactly the same as this paper. It feels almost as thick to me. It really does, but it feels like a little bit different of a paper. I don't know. I hope that in the future they might list what this paper is on the website because I think that helps people to decide, but it feels like a really nice paper and it performs like a really nice paper. I know it's above 70 pound if it's not 80 pound and just a different paper. 
So it might be 80 pound from feeling it and it might just be a different paper because it is it does feel different than the life planner. But I don't know. I'd be really interested to know what it is. So here's all the pen tests, all the pens I normally use and my mild liner. And I put Erin Condren dual tip markers in here. I'm adding those to my pen testing box. And let's take a look at this side. I even used a fountain pen since I try to do that in all my pen tests. Now that there is your fountain pen down there and you can see the fountain pen. You can see a little bit. You, you can. And the rest you can barely see to me. There is just really minimal ghosting, but there you go. Today in my little makeshift studio, I have absolutely no natural sunlight. This, these are just my lights because it's a really rainy, cloudy day, but I want to make sure you guys get to see that pen test. And the only thing that I would say shows through enough to be problematic is the fountain pen as long as you're not wanting to use a fountain pen in it. And even if you were, as long as you're okay with that, then I think it's fine. Okay, so let's look at how pen performs in here. I did not do a pen test page because this is my actual planner. So I'm just, you know, gonna try to show you. I I know it's gonna be harder to see because it's my actual planner, but you can see how pen shows through. To me, um, it's, maybe a little bit less ghosting, but maybe about the same. So like I said, the paper feels about the same thickness to me, just maybe not the exact same texture and the exact same paper. This paper takes, you can tell I've written all on the other side of here and it takes pen really well to this 80 pound Erin Condren paper. So I wouldn't let the paper deter you. If you like the Erin Condren Life Planner paper, then I would say this paper is really nice and you're gonna like it too. This is if you want a hardbound book, if you want no coil, and if you want a little bit bigger boxes. Now here's something to note. If you are a sticker person, the size of the boxes is going to mess you up because the boxes are bigger. Let's flip to a month that I haven't used here and let's see if I can even measure the boxes here on camera. So starting at the top of the color here, and going, you know, all the way down just to the bottom of the box. It's a little bit over two and a fourth. And then the width is about one and not quite three quarters. And then here from the top of the color to the bottom of the box is just about two inches. And then one and, you know, not quite one and a half, just about one and a half. So these boxes are substantially bigger. And if you are someone who does stickering and sticker kits, then this planner, you know, may not work for you. I am not big into stickering, so I'm not really the person to ask about that. I honestly am not knowledgeable enough about that to say anything about it. I just know that I've heard people say that they do have a problem with their stickers when they have gone to here. So that is just something to think about. But Let's go through, so everything's a little bit smaller, but you're getting the exact same book. Let's look at like a monthly layout so you can see. So here's your monthly layout in the Life Planner. Here's your monthly layout in the Hardbound. So you can tell it's bigger. The color is not quite as saturated as you can see there. Look at that. That's kind of a big difference to me. This is a very much more saturated dark color. This is a lot lighter. Your squares are a lot bigger. If you need more room to write on your monthlies, this is going to give you the more room. Everything is the same as far as the, how they know holidays here. They know holidays and then certain holidays are noted with cute little colorful things. And that's the same in this big hardbound planner. And Valentine's Day has a little heart. So that's noted exactly the same. It's just the color is different. And let's see, because I didn't really notice that before. Let's look, yeah, the color is less saturated. It definitely is. So if you look at the color, it's both the ombre format, the same monthly colors that are in their life planner. It's just more muted if you look at that. Every color is just a teeny bit more muted in the printing. So that is something to note. You have the same layout. You have a box up here, you have notes room. You have your room down here. The layout is exactly the same as the life planner. And if you wanna see the layout of all three of her life planners, I will link that video down below. 
I have a video of her 2019. This is the vertical and then the horizontal and then her hourly. I have a video with all three of those layouts in there and I will link that down in the description box. Let's look at how the month flows here. At the end of a month, you go straight into your next month. So here's the end of February. You have a lined page, which is the, the exact same as her life planner this year. You have a lined page between every month here. I've just added some stickers and you have the same quote as you can tell here. The color is just a little bit different. You can tell how much bigger your page is here from looking at both of them right here. But you have that same layout. You have the lined page and then starting your next month. You have your monthly layout and you can tell. Look how much the coloring is off on here. That's really interesting to me because until I laid them side by side, I did not even notice that. But the coloring is quite different. This looks more like aqua to me and this looks like green. So let's look at a vertical layout page here. And yeah, so the coloring in here is an aqua for March more. It's not a green. So that's interesting, but every month is flowing the same colors. It's just this color seems to be more off than any of the other months. So April is purple, there you go. And that's just a little bit off, just a little bit more saturated. So that's more in line with what we've seen. May is the same peach, and then it goes into your monthly, and then it goes through your weekly, and that's the way it flows, the same way as the life planner, and this is only comes in calendar here, and one thing that I want to make sure to note is how beautiful this book is. It really is beautiful, you guys. Look at all that gold foiling. In person, that really makes a big impression to see. And if you need your planner to look a little bit more professional, the black and white cover would do the job for that. Then you get one ribbon page marker right here, just one in this book to mark your spot. Now, when you get to the end of this book, you have a few notes pages, the same as a life planner. So here's the end. You have a couple of line notes pages, a couple of dot grid notes pages, a couple of blank note pages, and then you go into 2020, you're kind of planning ahead year at a glance so you can, you know, note down appointments or anything else like that that you need to note there. And a little notes box down here in the coming year. You have a quote to end you and all that beautiful gold foiling. And that's the end of your hardbound life planner. All right, let's compare it to Simplified like I've been asked to do. Simplified Weekly Planner is a hardbound book also. And it is eight by six and a half. So this is eight by 10 once again. And this is eight by six and a half. So you might say this six and a half by eight and eight by 10. So that's your difference. And if you line them up, you can see there is a huge difference in size in these books. Just a really massive difference in my opinion. And that shows on the page too. Also, this is a horizontal planner and this is a vertical planner. So you're not really comparing apples to apples. Now, Erin Condren does make a horizontal hardbound planner, but it is even smaller than this simplified one. It's a tiny bit smaller. I think it's around that size. It might be around an A5 size. I do not have that one to compare. That would be a little bit closer, but not even exactly comparing apples to apples. But I was asked to show this comparison, so let's let's do that. So you have obviously a vertical layout in this book and a lot more room. In the Emily Lay Weekly, you have a horizontal layout and a lot less room. Emily Lay has 70 pound paper. Erin Condren, like I said, this paper feels more like 80 pound to me and it ha it does have less ghosting. So I will show you some pages that I've written on in here. And here you go, simplified is 70 pound paper. That is what pen looks like from the other side. And I do have a full video of simplified daily and weekly planner. If you want more details on it, I will link that video down below as well. So the weekly layout in the simplified being horizontal is completely different. You have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then you have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you look, you do not have much time at all for Saturday and Sunday. Saturday is one little space, Sunday is one little space, but Sunday has their weekly prep on it. So you really don't have much room at all in that one to write in anything on Sunday. So if you need room, that's something to think about. 
You have a dinner box every day noted with a little pot right there on Simplified. If you don't need to use it for dinner, you could, of course, use it for a workout, for any kind of habit tracking that you want to, or something you need to remember that day, or maybe to track your work hours if you work sporadic hours. Those are just some ideas of how to use that box if you're not going to use it for meal planning. Simplified, you have one color assigned to every day of the week and it stays the same throughout the entire planner. So like every Monday is navy, every Tuesday is dark teal, every Wednesday is aqua, every Thursday is green, every Friday is orange, every Saturday is pink, and every Sunday is hot pink. That stays the same throughout the entire planner. The months change based on what color the tab is and That's just where your name of the month is up there. That's really the only thing that changes. This is an academic year. So her calendar year, which are the only ones she has left and out right now, the colors are in a different order. The colors, because January starts, well, actually the colors are in the same order, but the months are different where they line up because January will start on Navy and then February, March, April. Just to let you know, the color order is the same and you can look on their website but the months will be labeled different. So these colors stay consistent. Here's some more pen writing all over if you wanted to see how that 70 pound paper reacts. And then we already looked at our pen test in here. This is obviously a vertical layout and you have those three big boxes for every day. You have a lot more room to write. And I would just say this is, you know, of course, a much, much bigger book if you look at that. And it's just, it's bigger, it's heavier. And so those are the things to note and think about if you're, you know, trying to compare these two. Also, just which weekly layout is going to work best for you? And is this enough room for you? And do you work better horizontally? Whereas they kind of left this open for timed appointments. And this is kind of with the tick circles, tick off boxes for like a checklist to do's. But that's kind of up to you how you navigate using your days and these three boxes in the vertical is completely up to you how you use your days they do have some notes pages back here they're all lined there's a few note pages at the end of the simplified planner and then the simplified planner does have some simplified prep work at the beginning of it it's kind of like thinking about your routines and what worked last year and what didn't work they do have a full uh, year at a glance now this is the academic year so they're showing you 2018 and 2019 And they do have your holidays for the year written out. And then the simplified prep work and a little note from Emily Lay. Like I mentioned, if you want more information on the simplified planner, I have a full walkthrough also of their daily and I will link that video down below and the Erin Condren video with more information. Now, I just had somebody ask me a question on Instagram today. And so I definitely want to make sure to show it in here about what bands fit these planners since Planners without coils are very portable to throw in bags and backpacks and purses. So Simplified Planner sells a band of their own with a little pineapple on it. It comes in a couple different colors in a two pack and you want to buy the weekly size. They have a weekly size or a daily size and this fits their weekly planner perfectly and keeps it together for a bag. Erin Condren sells bands of two different sizes because they have um, their full eight by 10 planners or seven by nine like the coiled one I showed you, this is a seven by nine band. And somebody asked me if the seven by nine bands would fit this planner. And actually they fit really well to me. Um, I think that the bigger size of Erin Condra band might be too big for this because this is, this is not too tight. So if you want to buy an Erin Condren band for your hardbound planner, I would get their normal band seven by nine size. They sell these in a three pack of numerous colors. And then I know because I might have someone asked, does an Erin Condren band fit the Emily Lay? And I will tell you that it does fit the weekly. And I don't think it's going to come off. It seems like it would hold it pretty well. But let's take this one off just to test because this is a little bit smaller. But I think in a bag, I mean, it definitely slides a lot. But I think it would hold it well. I think you could use an Erin Condren band on here if you preferred the material kind rather than the grippy kind on there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful. If you have used an Erin Condren hardbound planner, I would actually love to hear how it held up for you because obviously I have not used one in 
you know, my planning life. I have not carried it and used it all year. So I can't speak to how the binding would hold up. So I would, I mean, it feels very good. It feels like it would hold up well. It lays flat well. I did not mention that even to the middle of the book. Even like right now, I haven't even opened it to this part until now. This is the first time I've ever opened it to this part. And it is laying extremely well. You can see. So it lays flat. There's no problem. I mean, when you open it right to the middle, you might have to massage it a little bit, but it's a great lay flat planner. And so is the Simplified. The Simplified lays flat really well. Also, you just might have to massage it a bit, but it lays flat great too. Now, I have not carried this around in a bag with me or towed it around, but I have been using the monthly layout up in my bedroom on my dresser just because my planner stays downstairs and kind of just when I want to keep track of what kind of is going on, just to see the lay of the land before I go to bed. I like to glance at this. So I've been using only the monthly layouts for that. And so it's just been staying open, completely open on my dresser. And it has done well for like the half a year that I've used this academic. Now I can't speak to how it works throwing it in a bag, but it's performed well doing that. So I would love to hear if you've used the Erin Condren hardbound and how it's held up for you. Thanks for watching guys. Happy planning, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.